What's up? Wayne Barron here with DarkEffects.net and today we are in Windows 7 trying to fix an issue. Okay, this right here is setting the default program for a file type. Now in this case we are working with Edge Animate and that's Adobe Edge Animate. When it, and as you can see right here the file does not have an associated file type as the icon is just a white piece of paper. When you right click on it and you go down to properties and you choose change it doesn't give you the option to add in the actual Adobe program whenever you click on browse scroll down go into our Adobe Edge and choose it still does not add it to our list so we cannot choose it as a default program and whenever you click on the AN file it automatically launches the Adobe Audition CS6 program which is not what we want so what we do here is that we do a registry trick so inside of your registry you open it up by typing in reg edit r e g e d i t inside of your run inside of start run what we're going to do is we're going to click on h k classes root we're going to scroll all the way down to applications and which is going to be right here then we're going to twirl it down and then we're going to go down to edge animate and then inside of our command right here you can see that a default program is pointing to C program files but as you can see here I do not have well let's jump over here I do not have it in C programs I've got it inside of G Adobe Adobe Edge so what I'm going to do is copy that come back inside of the registry editor here double click on this file and make sure you don't mess this up you want to make sure that your double quotes are sitting right there at the beginning right click and paste and this is going to put in your new location here you click OK and then you go back into here right click now it gives you a drop down list with Adobe Edge right there but you choose default program Make sure you click it, make sure you check for always use the selected program and click OK. And now it will load as you can see our icon changed and now we can start working inside of Adobe Edge by just simply clicking on the file since it is now associated with our Adobe Edge program. And this is what I am doing pretty cool huh alrighty hope that y'all enjoyed this quick Windows 7 file association tip make sure that you are careful inside of your Windows registry if you make a mistake delete out a key you could render your operating system useless so anyway this is Wayne Barron for darkfix.net y'all have a rocking rest of the week bye bye